pet shop in Ken Island with Helen and Zero. Can you tell us a little bit about Zero? Uh, yes, he wants to get down. <laughs> um, he's been the store cat for about six years. He was the runt of the litter and when we had adoption day and no one wanted him, so he's been with us ever since. So if you have a cat, cats are hard to groom. So if you have a cat that you need to groom, you certainly can bring him here. We can take care of him, we can shave, get rid of the mats. But what you can do to make it easier for you is if your cat has a mat, you can just get some scissors that we have here and you can clip the mats away. You can also spot clean and clean around the paws. And we have hairball stuff so that they don't hack up all that um, nasty stuff so much. We have a free pet food pantry. If you find yourself in a bind, and we've all been in a bind uh, financially sometimes, uh, you can come and ask for our pet food pantry and we give away free dog and cat food. We do free water testing. So if you, we have a lot of aquatic stuff. We have a, a new salt water tank. And if you have problems with your water or your fish are dying or they're ill, uh, we can test your water for you. We do that for free. We have everything you could possibly need and what we don't have, we can get. We work really closely with Animal Welfare League, Talbot County Rescue. We also deal with Chesapeake Cats and Dogs. And if you take a rescue to them, uh, they'll call us and we take all their small animals. Oh, okay. And so most of our small animals here are, from, are rescued. And you said you had a new saltwater tank. How did you come across that? Well, we've been talking about doing saltwater for a while. You know, it can be really complicated if you get your reefs and stuff. Although once you have it established, it's pretty easy to maintain. But you can do a fowler tank, which is just your fish with live rock. So with, you know, with five ingredients, your dolomite, live rock, water, and biospira, which you can just dump in and it's ready for your fish, um, you can have yourself a nice saltwater tank. So this is our fowler tank. It was really super easy to establish. Uh, we do have this uh, stuff that you can put into your tank immediately and you can put fish in it right away. It's called the biospira that I was talking about. But you see we have clownfish, we have our starfish back there. It looks really great. You can keep adding to your live rock. You can stack them on top of each other. Uh, you certainly can get anemones, which are really lovely to have, especially for your clownfish. But really easy to take care of. We have our um, ammonia monitor, which makes it really easy for us to know if we're not keeping the water system straight. And your filter, and that's really all you need. And then you have this beautiful saltwater tank. This is Groot, and Groot is about a five-month-old bearded dragon. Bearded dragons are one of the easiest lizards to take care of. That's why we keep mostly lizards dragons and anoles because they're your easiest reptiles. Before you adopt a reptile though, you have to know they, li they can live a very long time. It's, it's, it's an amazing commitment. When your seven-year-old child has gone off to college, you're still going to have Groot. <laughs> so it's important that you're comfortable with that. They love bugs. Yes, they do with calcium. They do shedding. When they're happy, they'll even change colors. They make great pets. A lot of people just let them hang around the house with them. All, you have to just be careful that you don't step on them, but they make great pets. This is Joe. Joe is, as best we can tell, a couple of years old. He's a rescue. He was surrendered by somebody else and we picked him up. You can tell he's very, very friendly. Uh, same thing with grooming bunnies. They need to be brushed every week and their teeth will keep growing. So it's important that you give them toys and minerals and stuff that they can grind their teeth down on. Otherwise, it can cause serious health issues, including um, death, because they'll stop eating. So you have to take care of them. We have everything you could possibly need to adopt this baby or to take care of your own bunny if you just stop in. And you can just come and love on Joe because Joe loves the love. We have a great groomer here. She um, she lives in Chestertown, so she's Queen Anne gal from upper no from the North County. Her name is Sarah. She does an amazing job. She she like I said, she does the cats. We have people here who will uh, trim the nails and the wings on the birds if you have a bird and we will trim the nails on your small animals if you need it. So we can take care of any of your grooming needs for any of your animals. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to learn more you can stop by their Facebook or just come in and see them.